Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a story time and I am going to be sharing with you all the story of how my childhood dog died on Christmas. Yes. Now my dog's name was Sammy. We got him in 2007 and he was 15 years old when he died, but Sammy did not die from old age. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit of background on Sammy, like his life with us, and then leading up to his demise. Yeah. Like I said, we got Sammy back in 2007 and he lived in our family home, like all growing up. I was seven years old when we got him. And he's a Shih Tzu Poo. Let me look at a picture of him actually. I'm going old school. This is how long we've had him. So yeah, this is Sammy. He was so cute, super cute. He was so joyful, so happy all the time. Like I said, he was a Shih Tzu Poo, so he was a Shih Tzu Poodle mix. I don't know if we just didn't train him well or what, but he had a real big problem with peeing on the floor. He peed on the floor everywhere. And he even had a doggy door in our house. Like we had a, we had a pretty decent size, fenced in backyard. He could go out as he pleased and he still peed in the house. So yeah. So it's probably around, let me say, probably 2017, 2018. I'm not 100% sure where my brother was living, but he was not living in the in our family home anymore. He's like off for college doing what he was doing. So my mom was moving to a new house and she was never a, she was never a big animal person anyways. I mean, she would let us have animals because we wanted animals, but she was never a big animal person. When she was moving to her new house, she was basically like, I don't want him peeing on my floor. Kwan, you take him. So Kwan took him. And they thrived together. That was real definition of man's best friend. He had Sammy walking off a leash in the mountains, something that we thought was never gonna happen. They just really thrived. They were amazing. So anyways, fast forward to December 23rd, 2021. My brother, he's supposed to be catching a flight home for Christmas. The flight was at like 1 p.m. sometime on the 23rd. Now, at the time, he had two roommates. The same two roommates he had probably had for the last few years, couple years, like at least two. And for some reason, from my understanding, let's say that, from what I know in my head from how I'm telling the story, these two roommates were going to be at home, were going to be at the apartment, but they were saying that they could not watch Sammy, even though this was a dog that they were familiar with that lived in the home but they said they couldn't watch him, whatever. So my brother gets on this app called Rover and he's looking for people who can do it and he finds this man and that was working out. But I think it was either the day of or the day before he was supposed to leave, this man on Rover contacted my brother and was like, yeah, I can't watch the dog anymore. My daughter died. Okay next option so he contacts this other girl and she's trying to charge him like 320 or something a night and he was going to be home for a decent amount of time now keep in mind this is like december 23rd day before or maybe it was even christmas eve so the and i think he's trying to go back and forth with the girl and see if she can go lower at all and so he ended up missing his flight dealing with the rover people and of course he wasn't gonna pay the 200 300 whatever it was a night that that one girl was trying to pay so the next best thing was to take this 15 year old dog on a little half cross country road trip and that's what they did so they made it perfectly fine they arrived really well it was fine now i technically have three animals we got sammy because of me i never really took care of him that much i don't think i'm a dog person i think i'm definitely a cat person and then I got Charlie, but now Charlie lives with my mom and now I have Penny. So I was, I don't know, I just thought it was so, I can't think of the word, but nostalgic? No, because they've never been together before. It was just neat. It was cool to know that I was going to have all three of my animals like in the same house. So when Sammy got to the house, me and my mom automatically noticed that he was definitely deteriorating. We hadn't seen Sammy probably since 2020 or 2021. So it had been at least a year. My brother told us that he was not barking anymore that he was just really quiet. He didn't really do much to just follow Quan around. Um, so he definitely was getting there. He was getting old, but I mean, he was still, he was still going along. Shih Tzu's and Poodles both have very long lifespans. So he was still Sammy. He was still excited. He was still lively, but you could definitely tell that he was getting older. So Christmas day rolls around. I mean, everything's fine. We, he keeps, Sammy keeps running into stuff. Cause apparently he can't see either, but 
we had an amazing day, an amazing Christmas. Um, and that night comes and me, my mom, my brother are all sitting in the kitchen. We're just reminiscing. We're talking about Harvest Moon and video games when we were younger. And my mom that gave Sammy the bone from, um, I don't know, whatever meat that she had cooked, but she gave him the bone and we put him, we sent him outside and he was just eating that. So remember earlier when I told you that at the old house, we had a fenced in yard and Tammy had a dog door. Also at the old house, whenever we had holidays or just whenever my mom made meat that had like a big bone on it, she would give the bone to Sammy and he would go outside to eat it. He would go outside with the dog door. Now at my mom's new house, they have a pool. It's winter, so there's a tarp over, but, over it, but this, that's just a, that's a crucial element. They have a pool and the yard's fenced in, but it's like a, a deck and then the pool is surrounded by the deck and then you can go down, whatever. This was the first time Sammy had ever been in this house before. It was not a routine that we had ever done. It was the first time ever going outside of what we always knew from years ago, so. And keep in mind, we hadn't seen my brother in probably like eight months, a year or something like that. It had been a minute since we'd seen him. We're sitting chatting, it's probably been like 15 minutes or so. And my mom goes, where's Sammy? And I don't know, I, I, like if we just got caught up in reminiscing or what it was, but they all ran outside. I'm sitting on the chair because I'm thinking, I mean, he probably just outside, sitting by his little bone, eating, whatever. A couple seconds go by, the thing I hear is this bloody murder scream from my mother. Like, I don't even, like, I don't know what went to my head. I, I was not thinking that it was Sammy, though. I was not thinking. So, I'm there. I hear my mom screaming my brother's name. I go up to the French doors. So, basically what happened is there was, there's a tarp over the pool, but there's, like, a little bit of snow. And it wasn't that, it wasn't that cold on Christmas last year. So, instead of snow, it was just kind of, like, melted water. I mean, but it's a tarp over a pool. So, it's still only what a couple inches that's dip, dipping down in there but my brother had jumped in on there and tried and got him out but he was frozen cold it was very depressing like do, reading this over i'm like it's just he was old and what we think is that he did not even fight like i said earlier he didn't bark i also always wonder like why was he not still eating the bone there's so many we could have done this we could have done that we could have done that but it's 2020 is hindsight you I mean we were just sitting enjoying each other's company and in your head you're thinking why wouldn't he have just jumped out but he was older and this I don't know we think he just did not fight I don't know my brother was so devastated he felt like it was his fault because he was like I was the one that's supposed to be watching him and we were just trying to we were trying to console him trying to because that really was I mean him and that dog were man's best friend like i said and i felt so bad i mean he he was devastated and it was devastating i feel like this can be a reminder too that when you have pools i mean they can even in the winter time they can be a hazard like because like i said it was warmer the snow had melted and now it's just water my stepdad buried him in the back of the property and i got my brother a really cute memorial because he still had sammy's co collar left it really is sad. It's crazy. It's sad to think that he's not around, that it's been a whole year since he hasn't been around, but we miss him dearly, and we will be thinking about him 10 times more than usual as we're celebrating each other and our family. I really cannot believe that he went out like that, but at the end of the day, Sammy was 15. He had an amazing life. He experienced a lot of things. Quan showed him a lot of things. Me and my family showed him a lot of things. He was very spoiled at the end of the day. He was very loved. Sammy was very loved. It's just crazy. It's so sad. <laughs> and on Christmas, bro. It's the year, though. The year anniversary is coming up. I hope my brother is okay. I need to ask him about it. And I really wanted to do something special for him in remembrance. But, you know, your girl been going through it. And I did not plan nothing. So I'm just going to slip in there tomorrow. How you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Because like, I feel like for me... I hadn't lived with Sammy in years. No, is that bad that I'm not like, uh, I'm sad. I'm like, damn, our dog died. But like, I wouldn't make a post on Facebook. So I don't know what that says about me. But yeah, that is a story of how my dog died on Christmas. Yeah. And that is a family memory that will taint our Christmas for the rest of our lives. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story time. 
don't forget to hit that like button leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the story time i hope you all are having a merry christmas and a happy holiday thank you so much for clicking on this video and i will see you in my next one bye